Now let's look at some other rules that can help us to find more complicated antiderivatives. And all of these rules are basically our derivative rules in reverse. So if all indicated integrals exist, the antiderivative of a constant k times a function f of x dx is simply k times the antiderivative of f of x, where k is any real number. This may look a little bit complicated, but in practice, it's just a derivative rule that you've already been using. So for instance, suppose I want to find the antiderivative of 4x to the 6 dx. The constant 4 can be pulled out in front of my antiderivative, giving me 4 times the antiderivative of x to the 6 dx. And now we can use the power rule to do the antiderivative of x to the 6th. That leaves us with 4 times x to the 7th over 7 plus a constant. We can do the same thing with the antiderivative of 2 thirds x squared dx. We'll go ahead and pull the 2 thirds out in front of the antiderivative and then take the antiderivative of x squared dx. And when I do that, I get 2 thirds times x cubed over 3 plus a constant. I could now multiply these pieces together to get 2x cubed over 9 if I really wanted to.